This year at Bug Jam, I had a bit of a plan. Now, I wanted to make a video that's a little bit different to the stuff I usually do. Um, I was aiming to go and talk to some of the, the drag racers. Um, I was hoping to get some footage of the cars up close. Um, talk to the drag racers, get some information about the cars, so the specs and the, the, the speeds and the, uh, stuff down the track. And then I was hoping to follow them to the track and actually get footage of them on the launch and, and take down the quarter mile. That didn't quite go to plan. <laughs> so basically, it rained most of the weekend. It was absolutely crazy. Uh, and as a consequence, in the, the pit tents, they were just full of cars and mechanics hiding from the rain, trying to work on the cars. All the pit crew was in there hiding from the rain. And I'm sure me, as a little guy with his camera waving around, was pretty annoying. So I can't thank the Outlaw Flat 4 guys enough for their patience, allowing me to get some footage and actually talk to some of them as well. Um, but when it came to the race day or the few hours of dry we had that didn't go to plan either so I thought if I followed them down the, uh, the warm-up lane um, to the start of the track nobody would see me and I'd be all right but I didn't have a trackside pass and I got spotted and whoop, on your bike mate <laughs> they sort of kicked me off the start now I, I say no complaints I didn't have a pass it's my fault um, but hopefully next year um, I'll have the opportunity to speak to these guys again have a, get a bit more footage uh, talk to people in a bit more in depth um, and then hopefully I'll have a trackside pass as well and we'll get some close-up um, footage from the, the burnout box and um, down the track and stuff. But this is what I did this year. Hope you like it. It's a, a 56 right-hand drive UK car. Uh, it was one owner uh, when I bought it, right. but it's sat in a, in a field for 30 years just rusting away. Wow. So it looks pretty amazing now, so... Yeah, we replaced the bottom kind of 12 inches all the way around, that was all gone. And then uh, we single skinned it and built the... the base. It's basically a tube frame car, but yeah. still on a, a VW floor pad, so the top half. The cage is built into the body to give it, put some rigidity back into it, because where yeah. it's single skinned it was just like, it used to wobble like a jelly, so... Oh, okay. And then, yeah, I'm say fairly conventional. Front end is is all um, King and Link pin. It has got an aluminium B, um, aluminium firewalls front to back. Uh, done by Chris Isaac, the same guy who did the cage. Right. And, uh, That's awesome. And just try to keep it as light as possible. It's round round about the 520 mark. Yeah, so substantially lighter, which is what you have to do when you've got a, a small. Past the yeah. engine, you know, yeah, try and yeah. wait his power. Yeah, squeeze every every little bit of uh, power out by bringing the weight down. Awesome. What motor is it then? What engine is it? So it's a uh, it's a Type One magnesium case, uh, 1776. Oh, okay. Um, fairly kind of um, conventional kind of setup, really. It's got a 69 mil uh, Volkswagen crank in it. Uh, Marlon barrels and pistons, um, VW heads, 044 heads right. um, that have been worked on, um, titanium valves, um, Berg rockers, um, it's got an Engel FK87 cam, um, and yeah, you know, it's not particularly exotic engine, just a nice combination of parts really, nice flash, yeah. and then full J IDAs and a uh, a CSP exhaust system on it, a stage one WASP exhaust system on it. What sort of times are you going? Uh, last year, the best was 12 0 okay. and that's the... So if you're going on a 17 yeah. yeah, it's pretty good going for a 1776. It's yeah. not, there's probably not many normally aspirated 1776s yeah. in the world that have gone sub, sub 12. What time are you doing? 11-3. Uh, wow. Um, I'm broke. Oh right, you broke it already? Yeah, broke it. Brand new gearbox, broke really? it. What, what engine was it? It's a 2387 okay. with 52 IDAs, wow. um, plus box with uh, Dave Fultz axle conversions. Right. So it's not like the, the normal stuff, it has like a UJ on it, right. like off, of, um, off of an American pickup. Right? Okay. Well, I've got another engine that actually goes in it as well, a bigger engine. Right. But that one's about 240 brake horsepower, that one. And the other one, what, got, what goes in it is, is supposed to be um, 580 brake. Wow. But um, what, what's that then? Is that a, a turbo? Yeah, it's a two point, just under 2.9. 
um, tell us about right. um, what you're aiming for. What's the what's the goal? The golden number? Just a nine would be nice, or a ten even at the moment. Or just get down the track would be quite yeah, nice. Yeah, for a bit of weather. <laughs> for a swim today. Yeah. It was dyno when the engine was in its previous car, it was dyno at 412 horsepower wow. and 450 foot pounds of torque. <laughs> Crikey, what, um, what this is that? Uh, 2276. Um, but and we have since, <laughs> when I bought the engine, we've had it refreshed and we've done a little bit of head work and stuff as well. So, in theory, it should make a tiny bit more horsepower right. or at least the same power but on less boost. Right. Um, just because it's flowing a bit better. Um, Hence the no gearbox. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit of an upgrade from my old engine, so it's um, it's a complete new learning curve because my old engine was my old setup was a nitrous setup, right? Um, and it behaves completely differently. It's really, it's quite eye-opening how different they are. Really? Um, you just see, isn't it not revving the same, or is kicks in lower? Or yeah, it's well, it's more instant because you're already building on the line. You're already building the boost, so you've right. already got that extra power straight away. Whereas when you're on nitrous. Don't actually get the power until you Set pull it off, off, and then, then it gives you that kick. Right. So, what are you aiming at then? Um, the goal's a ten. Right. My personal best with a car is an eleven seven. Okay. My old nitro setup. Um, the engine has done ten eight in its previous car. Right. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah. Best of luck. So um, hopefully next time I'll see you racing. Yeah. At some point. <laughs> at some point I'll get a good run down the track. <laughs> It'll be, nice. be nice. It'll be nice. Cool, right. thank you very much. No worries, nice to meet you. See you later.